let's get started. Today I'm doing a look with the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, but I did use caramel from the Amrezy palette to blend out the crease. It's still from Anastasia, so it doesn't count. I'm bringing that colour right in the corner of my eye to create the illusion that the eye looks more deep set. Now going into the artist palette, I'm taking Orangey Fancy and patting it on the front of my lid. Um, I'm leaving the outer corner bare. Taking Baby I'm a Star and I'm also patting that on the outer part of my lid. Once I've built up the darkness I want, I'm just blending that out um, in the edges so it makes it more seamless. With Buttery, I'm applying it to where those two colours meet. This will just add a hint of brightness and blend the colours better. For greater depth to the outer V of the eye, I'm just applying that coal colour and sort of winged eyelinering it um, and then lightly blending it out with Baby I'm a Star. With all those dark colours, you want to make sure to clean up the under eye area before applying foundation. For my foundation, I'm using two today. I'm really loving the consistency of these two added together, plus the coverage it gives. I apply it with a foundation brush just around the face and neck, but avoiding the eye area because the more products you put under the eye, the more likely it will crease. I picked up the Real Techniques sponge because it was in front of me and just blending out the edges of the foundation that I applied and also the brush strokes on the face. So now for concealer, I'm applying it under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, the middle of the forehead and on my chin to brighten up those areas. Then with that same sponge, I'm pressing it into the skin, not swiping so that the concealer stays in the space we applied it. To set everything in place, I'm applying my favourite translucent powder at the moment and dabbing it on those areas with that same sponge, quite heavy. You will see later how flawless it looks once you dust it off. While we wait for that to set, I'm moving on to contouring and I'm just using this new palette from um, Artists of Makeup. The three bottom shades are for contouring and I'm using the one on your left. As you can see when I apply the contour powder, the translucent powder underneath helps create the perfect contour line under the cheekbone. Just dusting that powder off. Then finishing off contouring my forehead by adding that same shade on the sides. Blending out the cheekbones as well and then contouring my nose. I never used to do this step but now I absolutely love the way it looks. I apply the shadow with one brush then get a clean brush and blend it out further. With the middle shade in this palette, which I am absolutely loving by the way, I'm placing it on the tip of my nose and the tops of my cheekbones for a dewy finish. To finish off the eyes, I'm smoking out that caramel colour all the way along the bottom lash line. Just in the outer corner, I'm applying that coal colour 
and connecting it to the top outer corner. Now just in the inner part of the lower lash line, I'm applying that orangey fancy shadow just for a bit of something different. Instead of going in with a black eyeliner, I'm using a dark brown one. I think it ties in better with the look. For something even more different, I thought I would add the colour Fresh with a PH on the inner corner. This is so different for me, but I love a change. For blush, nothing's changed. I'm using Runway by Motives. Kind of loving this blush at the moment. Just adding some mascara to the tops and bottom lashes, ready for false lashes. For lashes, I'm applying none other than Velour Lash in the City. How I usually do it and just pushing them up so they dry upward facing. I decided to go with a dark lip. I miss dark lips so much. The purple also complements the yellow eyeshadow. So I'm just lining them to get a clean crisp line, then filling them in with a very similar color from ColourPop. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I showed you a different idea on how to use this new Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. Please hit the like button if you found it was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.